a program like this, back then, both PTA programs, I have to be PTA pros, are given discounts, there are grants out there, they actually when they bring it on to your camp, they allow you to use it, they'll even teach you how to use it, and then, you know, what I've done in some cases is just slow the equipment to be equal. Let them turn it into their number. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's price prohibits you from doing it. The other thing about this equipment is a lot of times when the kids first come and look at it, you know, but it's 15 minutes, and we're going to give you the opportunity to have the same experience. The thing that's so great is this can bridge kids to <coughs> golf make it part of your curriculum to have field trips to the golf courses, get with your local PGA pros, get with your local youth development. The first P is located with one in Baton Rouge, with one in New Orleans, with one in Monroe, with one in Shreveport. But, and even trying to explain the mission, the national school program where they'll actually come in Okay, before I explain it, we have a lady that's missing her black bag. Now, there's a lot of you guys I see that have the same black it bag. Happened every time. And it's got her car keys in it. So, will you check and make sure you didn't accidentally pick up her bag? Thank you. If you, if you are in the, the cha cha, the Latin. Uh, She's Latin. lost it in lap, the first session this morning in the cha cha. Wow. <laughs> you see okay, where my well. keys are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what they This happened every time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just pick up the bag. Mm -hmm. You got your wallet and stuff in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not on. Now, this equipment is known as SNAP. It means it's an acronym that means starting new with golf. Okay? You know, we keep thinking of golf. We call it a SNAP golf. And what it is, it's modified. You know, how many play golf? Or have play golf? All right, you know that the equipment is made out of metal, real heavy. In fact, it's not a good idea to have around kids. Um, you know, this equipment has been around for years. It's been around for decades. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this equipment and we're going to put it on the golf course. And we're going to put it on the golf course. And we're going to put it on the golf course. And we're going to put it on the golf course. And we're going to put it on the golf course. And we're going to put it on the golf course. <clears throat> but if it's used correctly, it'll last a long time. It's, it's made out of plastic, which is sort of like a ceramic. And but everything, it has like rubber grips and everything. And everything is coated on the <coughs> There is all kind of directional things, such as on the grip, it's color coordinated. So when you put your hands on, and the student will know to put their thumb on the yellow, bring your hand, and then the other thumb goes on the red. The other thing is that on the club head, it's a target. And so, it's kind of hard to see on this floor. It's uh, missing. It's very bright. You can't find but, the balls. Uh, you would, yeah. You have a ball, which has a dot right behind the ball, and then an arrow on top. And so, while when, what you do is you tee it up. Bring that target, bring it ready to hit. Right up against that target there. And then what's great is we got these launch pads, which has a yellow arrow pointing out. So they're getting a lot of visual. Mm. Of course, um, you know, it's real colorful. A lot of times the kids um, that are going to hit will give them one color of, and these are kind of like a tennis ball. And so you just set it down on there. There's a whole bunch of devices. I'm going to let you kind of get into it. But basically, what's great about these is they fly a fairly good distance so that the student will know, you know, success. Are they getting it up in the air? Are they getting it straight? Are they having any kind of success? And what's really great, if you hit these things, you know, it'll, it'll stick. It's almost like a bell crush. So what we've got is, and this is funny over here, we're making a 
in that target now. And those cylinders right there with the flag, that is a stick and the target cap stick. And you get a whole bunch of things. This is just very small amount, but it comes in a comes in a set like this with a lot of a lot of clubs and things like this. And of course this is this is a big deal. What it is if a kid is behaving correctly or he he hit the target, most of the time we say the first one hit the target put the suit on, it has pants, it has a jacket, it has a helmet, and they go out there and the kids hit at them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's said, oh, I did one uh, this week, and the kids just, you know, they just went wild, and they stand there and hang, you know. So what it, what it does, what you do, you set up uh, a curriculum that's going to have activities. You can have a variety of activities. Making it fun, kids really, really get a really, really get a kick out of it, and they associate, you know, wow, I learned golf. This is fun. I want to do it more. Okay, and then that sets up your opportunity if you want to contact a local pro or a local pro team. You set up for a field trip for them to come out. I think one of the best things to do is try to get that pro to come into to the school, they can duck, they can duck like that. And so, uh, the, thing, the thing that's great about this, real, is that <coughs> golf is a lifetime sport, just like tennis. And I think, you know, the eco is what we're trying to do, we're trying to, try to, you know, students think about staying healthy in their life, staying active, you know, well, if you can teach them a lifetime sport, then you got them on the road where you're trying to, you know, get them involved in everything. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to let Eva explain a little more and if I need to demonstrate on this. Okay. Well, there's a lot to talk about, but I just told him that PE teachers don't like to sit. And I graduated from physical education in 1975 from LSU, so I know. And I've taught. Um, and then I became an LPGA teaching pro about 18 years ago, and I've traveled all over the country. Um, my passion, I woke up this morning and I went, my passion is being in front of physical education teachers and teaching them what I love to do, and that's to teach golf. Um, there's multiple touch points to bring kids into using this equipment. The first touch point is the First Tee National School Program. You can go online and you can get information. You can um, buy the set of equipment. It's a little pricey. I worked for the First Tee National School Program for five years as a trainer and a project manager. We traveled the country and we went into school districts and we taught the physical education teachers how to use this equipment. And then we drop ship the equipment on their doorstep and they began to teach it. Uh, with technology, the teacher training became an online training and so we had to find another job. But that's okay. Millions of kids have been taught throughout the country by the First Team National School Program. And back then it was funded by the PGA Tour. So, for example, the Zurich Classic in New Orleans funded Jefferson Parish. And I remember prior to Katrina, we went into the parish and uh, well, after Katrina, we had to do it after Katrina. And so all of those elementary schools in Jefferson Parish, the teachers attended the training, and then they received the equipment. We surveyed them on an annual basis to find out what they liked and what they didn't like. I'm a curriculum person. I brought all of my favorite curriculums for you guys to look at. This is the first Teen National School Program curriculum. Do not be afraid. This is so easy to teach, okay? This curriculum, well, the teacher training and the bag of equipment to have about 48 kids participating in this program at one time is about three grand. It's a little pricey in my opinion, um, but you know what? I think that you could probably find three parents or the local pizza guy to sponsor it. Okay, so think about that, get somebody to sponsor it. There's enough equipment in there for 48 kids to be playing at one time, and there's balls and that kind of stuff, and it is very durable. You 
go online, you do the teacher training, and I think they also ship you the manual. The left, this is the K through five curriculum here. They're working on middle school and high school curriculums to use this equipment. This K through five is divided up into three levels, level one, level two, level three, and there's seven lesson plans within each level. And so you don't have to stay up on Sunday night so that you can turn in those lesson plans to your principal. I remember those days. They're done for you. You can pull them out of the manual and you can copy them and use them. And there's also safety implemented in the, into this program. Okay. The other touch point is to go to the SNAG website directly. Starting not SNAG stands for starting you at golf. Go to their website directly. They have a less expensive package, a less detailed package that you can buy. Or like Jack mentioned, find one of the pros like Jack or I that have a setup of this equipment and we may come to your school and help you out one day and help you figure out how to get some money so you can have this in your program because it's awesome. Um, so um, let's go through and start. The equipment, there's only two, there's a putter and a launcher, okay, or a roller and a launcher. The launcher is equivalent to a wedge, okay. Everything is color coded and it's easy to teach. So everything is taught based on keywords. For example, putting is left thumb on yellow, right thumb on red, glue together. Let the kids make that noise, okay, glue together. Legs A, arms Y, dot the I. Jack said that the ball has an I on the back of it. Dot the I, and then the swing is brush, tick, top. Okay? So there are cue words for the hold, the setup, and the swing. The hold and the setup cue words are the same for putting, chipping, pitching, and full swing. The only difference is the cure. I mean, yeah, excuse me, the only difference is the swing. Okay, so for chipping, it would be left thumb on yellow, right thumb on red, glue together, legs A, arms Y, dot the I, Y, chip Y. Okay, the club moves like a Y, one piece Y, chip Y. Pitching would be L to Y. Full swing would be swing high, sweep low, finish high. Okay? Trust me, I've talked this for so long that after about two days, the kids know the cue words. They know all about the safety zone that you've taught them on day one, and they know your rotation cue. Okay? So it's very easy. Do not fear it. And it's a lot of fun. And what we're trying to do as golf professionals is how do we transition these kids to the golf course? So for example, Monday I'm going to be teaching at St. Michael's High School, not using snag, using regular equipment, but I'm going to complement my services for that day, but in turn we're going to do a St. Michael Big Break event at Santa Maria Golf Club. So what we want to do is transition the kids to the golf course because to me, they can learn all of these sports in your wonderful PE classes, but if we don't transition them to the golf course, they never pick up this wonderful lifetime sport. Okay? And we surveyed them, and less than 10% of those millions of kids that we taught golf through the National School Program, less than 10% of them are getting to the golf course. So we can field trip them or we can do some type of special event, but what we'd like to do is get them to the golf course. We can still use the snag golf equipment, or we can use real golf equipment. Yes? If you high school, should we wait for the high school curriculum? How close are you, or should we go on and get the elementary? You should wait for the high school, or get with your local golf professional, because one of the programs that we teach in our summer camp is the PGA Sports Academy. Uh, curriculum and it is levels. It is level one, level two, level three, and we may have a fifth grader in level two, but we may have a tenth grader in level one. Okay? That curriculum is awesome, plus it has a fitness and a nutrition component in the PGA Sports Academy. 
So I, if, if you would provide us with your email address or pick up my business card, I'll answer your questions and I'll try to help you connect to the local PGA or LPGA professional in your area to help you get this program started because it's, it's sure a lot of fun. Yeah, you, okay. you, can, you can get with you. If you got to create your own curriculum, you want to use it as a guide. You want to modify it because you know, the good thing is we're indoors. You can use it in a gym or you can use it outdoors. It just depends on the amount of space that you have and where you're going to store your equipment how many students you have. So um, the best thing to do is watch how we're about to demonstrate it. We're going to let you hit. Uh, once you see it, then your brain is going to start going to go into gear. So basically, now there's a lot of there's a lot of training aids you have to start for. You can get the you can get hula hoops that just put oh, yeah, duct tape up around it. They just say take it to this point, take it to that point. You can you can modify. You know, I use cones for safety. You know, use cones for out, you know. If you gotta do it on on a tennis court, use chalk or whatever. But try to try to come up with some visual so when they're they're <coughs> executing, and then all of a sudden it becomes second nature to them. Now she's gonna go ahead, she's in the circle. And uh, uh we normally say one thing, if I have one, two, three, four stations going and I have kids waiting. After everybody hits their balls, notice there are five different color balls here. So my, I'm team purple. They're, and so they should only retrieve the color of the team that they're on. Um, after you hit your ball, put the club down and wait for the other people that are doing chipping and then everyone retrieve at one time because kids are gonna be really exciting, excited about this. And if you don't specify, they'll put the club down, they'll go and everybody else is still oh, yeah. getting. So be very clear, make sure, and it teaches them how to work with each other, doesn't it? Make sure they all put the club down, and then they retrieve. They bring the balls back, and then they go to the end of the line, or however your rotation is. The next person comes up, and they do not pick up the club until you give them a cue or you specify, or else they'll start hitting, okay? But you guys all know that, because you talk yeah, to Yeah, you're absolutely right, you gotta okay. be very different. Let's go through the cue words we've set up set up we're doing full swing here we're doing full swing and we're doing putting and we'll let you guys in just a minute jump into a station and just practice and then we'll be floating around and help you out okay uh, left on yellow right on red glue together or connect legs look like an A arms Y bend and dot the I okay Full swing, we're going to take it to 10, 10, or swing high, sweep low, finish high. Okay? All right. So the kid just, and one of the things I like to do is I have, um, I have the keywords put on the floor so they can beat them. Okay? So they learn them. And in a day or two, well, they hear what we're saying, they see us demonstrate, and now they're going to read it. So everybody has a different learning style. So that connects the kid and they pick it up after a day or two. They learn the cue words and it becomes a lot of fun. Year one, if you do this program, I suggest that you pick one or two grades and test it out. And then year two, in, in, you know, let everybody that comes to your PE program participate in it. Okay, go ahead, Jack.
arrow that's on the ball to the target. So here we go. Left on yellow, right on red, blue together. Legs A, arms wide, dot the I, brush, tip, top. Okay? Okay. So and there's all kinds of games to play with this, and after you do this over a period of time, um, there's a new program out called G-Ball, and it's the next step, it's the transition to this. So all you would do is after you did this either in the gym or you could do it outside, you start doing G-Ball, which is to outline five or six holes, and it's the, um, the league kind of competition. So you, you outline holes, and for us, or for Breck, um, we have a mode, a little green, six holes, and we outline it in row or whatever, and they play. And you can put them on teams. So, okay, you ready? Any questions at this point? Pick up my business card or Jack's business card, and we'll help you out any way we can. All right, it's your turn to participate. Let's go. All right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, so this station. and potty. All we ask is that who's ever at the station, wait till everybody finishes and then go free them all. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. of that there is a uh, left-handed clubs. The potter is dual-sided, so we don't have an issue there. And actually, the few words for left-handed golfer are very applicable here, okay? Anybody out that wasn't in you have to get behind the car. What's with your group? Huh? That's right. We have had hands. Yeah, there it is. Back to the staff. All right. What you might do, I take a breath. You look at the breath. Let me get down here. I'm <laughs> step right in Got my favorite color on today. We're all twins. <laughs> Travels very well. I think I'm going to come down. <laughs> you did? Well, I come down here so I could get some red shirts mixed in with some purple. You know, little rivalry. See who does better. Yes. First, we got Xavier back here. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
I would like to get her to come to UL to teach my PE teachers how to do this. Well, this is a great idea. Like you said, they put this expensive, but this is a great idea. It is. Wouldn't you have to be an expert in golf to teach it? I know, yes. Got your cues. Go ahead, go ahead, you're not going to bother me. Won't kill the camera. Oh, I see you brag too soon. That was a good shot, though. That was a good shot. No pressure, Brennan. No pressure at all. <laughs> he couldn't handle my presence back here. Just watch her go. AJ says he can do better. He's consistent. <laughs> Very consistent. Very consistent. Is this the anchor man or is Tim the anchor? Tim holds us together. Yeah, no, no pressure, AJ. AJ's so tall. <laughs> yeah, that, that does a little short for him. He have to bend his knees. Uh oh! Oh, bullseye, bullseye! Wow! Somebody might not be a beginner there. Go ahead. You know, go. All right. <laughs> That's all right, that first one still counts. It's hard when you're so tall. <laughs> it's okay, we're just going to show it to everybody we can find. That's all. But actually, he's pretty good. He really is. Okay, no pressure, Tim, right? No pressure. Got it on camera, <laughs> look at that. I should just, I'll have to do some editing and just uh, triple that, that first shot again, again. Oh, look at that, look at that too. And that's why he's the anchor, huh? That's it. No pressure, no pressure. Will he beat AJ? Oh, I think he just did. Well, we know what his sport is now, don't we? That's why you're teaching golf in uh, 449. Uh huh. Yes, this is not his first rodeo. Look at that. This is a sport that I have never taught. Really? Yep. <laughs> yep. I've, I've never, never played. So. I've never taught this or ballroom dance. So I missed Joe Ford. You're walking off. So, so before, before I retire, I'm gonna have to learn to teach golf. We're gonna try to do it in 350 next spring. I know that's why I came here. Good shot. There you go. Good, good job. Good job. Well, now I guess she's technically the anchor, huh? <laughs> About to switch batteries here. I thought Hunter was our anchor. <laughs> yeah, well, Hunter, re he left us, huh? He got, he was ashamed of us. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be seen. Aha, uh -huh, he is a little. Are you camera shy, Hunter? Are you camera shy? You ran across. Thought maybe you ran away from me because you didn't want any black mill material. Try putting and chipping. Not putting yet. Everybody, everybody, be sure you pick up a golf club and try it. It's very easy, and it's a lot of fun. Woo! Almost. She gotta move down to the other ones. I have to switch batteries. Months time. Teachers always ask me. When they come to these type of things, is how can we help our students correct their errors? You know, we don't, we're not, we're, we haven't been trained through the PGA or the LPGA, and we don't know what to tell our students to help them hit the ball. And I say, first of all, look at your feet. This is not a dancing sport. Okay, keep your feet on the ground. The other thing is. We don't move our, bob our head around. Keep your head still. 
Okay, so give them those two recommendations. We're not dancing. Matter of fact, a lot of times we use feet. Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, don't rock your head around because it's too hard to come back and hit the ball at impact. Okay, so look at their feet and look at their head. And that'll help them out a lot. Uh, his name is... Google first. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you're fine. You're fine. Hi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Such good athletes here. Why chip type things if you don't have the first team Well, that's okay. You can you can walk right through. Where's everybody from? I was gonna say to Holland. I will hit him to Holland. Get a whole date there. Yeah. Thank you. Keep working the first team. Okay. Thank you. All right.